Planning to make some moves when it comes to addressing issues at the landfill. News Channel 10's Sydney Batslav joins us now. And Sydney, will taxpayers foot the bill on this? Greg Stacy, the city of Amarillo says one of the debt issuances is for certificates of obligation, meaning it doesn't need taxpayer approval. Over six million dollars will go toward development at the landfill, and a little over four million is being issued for the public improvement districts for the colonies and Heritage Hills neighborhoods. The debt for the public improvement districts only affects residents in the colonies and Heritage Hills. Those park amenities have already been completed. They were completed by the developers. And so now those have been turned over um, to the city. And now the residents inside those neighborhoods have to pay for the total cost of those park amenities. As Amarillo continues to thrive and grow, the landfill begins to fill up to develop like the next phase of our landfill out there to make sure we have capacity um, for many years going forward. Stores says the debt issuance will be paid out over 20 years. We're matching those that are using that portion of the landfill with those that are actually paying for the services. Otherwise, if we had, um, let's say, saved up cash to pay for it, that means prior solid waste customers were paying for something that future solid waste customers are using. The city will have to go through a bid process and then it will begin construction. A year from now is when the city expects to be able to start putting trash in the new area of the landfill. In two weeks, Storrs says they will sell bonds and bring those to council, recommending they award the debt issuance to the lowest bidder. Sydney Batsloff, News Channel 10.